This week is the anniversary of the 2021 Texas winter freeze, which took over 200 lives and resulted in a systemic failure of the statewide power grid. Hard to believe it's been that long. Only on 13, ABC 13 meteorologist Elise Smith has a look at some of the latest technology available to try and help keep the power on. We are hearing from so many people who are without electricity. Four years ago, the February freeze left Texans powerless literally against the cold. At last check, at least 2.7 million Texans are without power. At Ever this since, very moment. questions around how we can better prepare for the next weather event have been top of mind. So you're telling me that this microgrid, this system is the future of how I keep power on in my home. Yes, absolutely. So this is what I would call the, the, the Cadillac of all solutions, right? Rolando Barsinus is an industry expert for power management company Eaton. He manages one of their training facilities in North Houston. He says that the future of keeping power on in your home during an outage is based on if you can collect, store, or mitigate your power use. I think there's always going to be nuances and things that are uncontrollable that we need to prep for ourselves. And to me, personally, that was a generator. You could do a battery backup for your house. So there's different sources and different uh, ideas that you could actually use to be able to maintain or keep the lights on in your house, regardless of what utilities done. So you don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to make your home more power resilient. A simple place to start is with smart breakers. These help manage the power usage in your home through load shedding, which is when they automatically shut things off that you don't need to keep on. And for those with an EV, you can now use your car to power your home in an emergency. If you have an electric vehicle and you lose power, uh, the last thing you're doing is going anywhere, right? So why not use that car as a backup? Uh, source for your house, right? So in essence, this is your backup generator, but instead of a generator, it's your car that big picture. Rolando says the goal would be to become self sufficient through a microgrid. That's when you have multiple ways to both collect and store power to then use for your home or office only. Uh, island yourself from any kind of uh, power outage. In other words, you don't have to rely on utilities or solely the Texas grid for power. Just last month, CenterPoint submitted a $5.7 billion resiliency plan to the Houston area. This is to meet future demand. Still, there are things you can do to better your home ahead of the next storm. Reporting in Houston, meteorologist Elise Smith, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.